Hey everyone and welcome back to this channel and I'm back today with a very different video and I haven't done a video like this ever before but it's actually a gift guide, a men's gift guide, so a gift guide for him and I, gen I think I'm the best gift giver, like I have given the best gifts <laughs> Um, to my husband like for his birthday, anniversary, things like that. Um, we've married right now for five years and I've given him a lot of gifts in that time. And so I've compiled a, a list of gifts that I think are gorgeous gifts for men that are, and I'm gonna describe this man. So men that are simple, um, have everything in the sense that like generally you just don't want anything. They are so difficult. I feel like men are so difficult to shop for, but there are always things that they you can add to their lives to enhance it a little bit, make them like look a little bit more stylish or like upgrade what they may already have, but just get them like a better version of it, um, something that they might have already wanted. Um, but wouldn't buy for themselves. Like my husband is someone who won't spend like hundreds of pounds on himself, whereas he'll do that for me. So I would love to like return the favor. And so I've always got, got him like really exciting gifts, but gifts that like are very usable. So things that he can use on an everyday basis. So if you've got a man like that in your life, brother, husband, whatever, father, then this video is for you. I'm gonna sh show you, I've got some gifts here that I can, I've just picked up that I found around the house and I've got some others, but I'll leave the link for everything down below. So feel free to click there. And yeah, Black Friday's coming up soon as well, so happy shopping. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the most recent gift, and this is actually a wallet. So this is the wallet um, that I bought for him for, I think it was his birthday maybe this year, and it's from Mulberry, and it's this beautiful uh, brown, like, grained leather. Um, and I love Mulberry, and the reason why I chose Mulberry is because it's such a, it's a British brand, and I feel like it's just so sentimental, um, very understated, it has like, it, the colour is lovely. This could be a woman's one as well, um, women or men. But I love the dark, like the dark brown. I loved it when I saw it. We actually went together and he picked out this colour. Um, um, they had black as well. But I think the idea for the first, this first gift is a wallet. Something that, um, that he can use all the time. So you want something that's really like, that, that matches his lifestyle when you pick something. So you don't wanna get a massive wallet. My husband doesn't use massive wallets, like he literally slips this wallet in his pocket, back pocket or whatever. So getting him a big wallet would be pointless. So something that you can get, I've got a wallet for my sister, she uses it every single day, it's actually a card holder technically. But um, yeah, something like that, I feel like it's something that people will use anytime, every day, and just upgrading it from like the wallet he had before, which was like this basic wallet, to this Mulby wallet was just, yeah, changed his life. Okay, the second one is a speaker, and I think I got this for his birthday last year, maybe. And this is the Marshall Emberton speaker. So I was like toying between this one or the bigger version, and I thought actually I'd prefer it to be more portable. And we use this pretty much like most days now, and we don't have a TV, so um, this is a lovely gift because it means that you're the special person in your life can like sit there in their office and have it next to them and it's like a really good size like i was worried it was going to be too small really good size very loud for its size as well connects by via bluetooth it works for ages when you've charged it um, it looks stunning in the house it's a nice decor piece that can go in so many different places and i feel like it's just one of those things that like make the house look a little bit more vintage and have more character um and yeah it's a lovely gift like he really loved it when i gave it to him and i think it's one of those things that like you wouldn't really have a speak like you wouldn't really have a speaker unless you specifically went out and looked for one. So if someone gifted it to me, I'd be really happy. And then on the same topic of speakers, um, I also uh, would recommend getting a shower like speaker, and I've linked one down below as well, and I show it to you over here. Um, something like that because it, it like I don't know about you guys as men, but mine likes to listen to things in the shower, so like a podcast or something like radio or whatever when it's in the shower or in the bathroom. So having something that is like water resistant, um, you obviously can't take this in. So something that you can like hang off of the shower um, curtain or the shower pole or whatever is really really useful and I think it's a really cool gift too. Okay next one is perfume and you obviously knew this, this was coming. Um, I have chosen a few perfumes because can I just say something choose perfumes that are unisex because when they're unisex you can use them too. So this is the perfume that um, that I absolutely love like the smell of on him and I think it's so beautiful. It's um, the MFK um, perfume but this is the Grand Soir. The one that's more popular is this one, the Baccarat Rouge 550. 540. Um, men can use this too. He uses it a lot. He finished this, not even me. Um, but I feel like this one is a bit more, has a bit more, I can't smell. I, I'm actually got a bit of a cold right now, if you can tell from my voice. 
but this one has like i can when i'm coming home i can smell him from outside not even like from inside the house it's just so be like the scent is just and when i wear it it smells different when he wears it, it smells different i really love this um and then the alternative is Penhaligon's Halfetti. I find Halfetti to be a little bit more, uh, a bit more, a little bit more masculine. And it smells different on him than it does on me. I prefer it on him than on me, actually. I like Cairo for myself, for women. But for men, I feel like this is a nice perfume as well. Halfetti is a really lovely, like, masculine perfume. But a perfume is a nice one. Um, if you get something that's, like, strong smelling and, like, long lasting on their skin and on their clothes, then, it, then they can just literally just do one or two spritz and they're good to go. Okay, the next thing is a coat or a jacket. So they probably already have one, um, of course, but you want to elevate them. You want to elevate them to take to the next level. So um, I picked out this double-faced wool coat um, and it's from Arquette. And um, I actually bought this from Mohammed not too long ago um, and I'll put it over here. So I got him the blazer version, which is the shorter version. And he wears it as a coat. It's double-faced wool, so like the front and the inside is the same like it's wool <laughs> it's not like it's not lined for example like this one and it just keeps him very warm it looks stunning like it looks so nice um and you can layer it so underneath you can wear like a vest if you want like that extra layer so i've added on the list as well a uniqlo like down vest um and these are beautiful because they're vests so they're like they're yeah short sleeved here um a uh, waistcoat yeah waistcoat style and you can just zip them up and you can put that underneath any jacket and it just keeps you super super warm um and you know, he's good to go for the whole winter and he will look stunning there's just some occasions where i feel like guys usually just wear like puffer jackets or like you know hoodies but there's just some occasions where you want to like dress up a little bit and like wear like a nice jacket um, and so that could be perfect for this and then on the topic of, staying on the topic of coziness and warmth, a hat is a good one. Um, everyone loves a good hat. And I've chosen this beanie hat, which is actually wool, 100% wool. And it's from m and if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it is from m &S. Um, And you can choose whatever color you like, of course. But look at the materials of things when you buy it. Um, if you get a hat that's polyester, it's probably not going to keep you warm. So try to choose something that has more natural fibers like wool for example merino wool would be amazing um cashmere uh, just be careful when you obviously wash it uh wool will just whoop, if you don't wash it properly so just be a bit careful but it will keep his head so warm and he will love you for it okay i then have on the same token of coziness bear in mind this whole like gift guide is really for for Use items that I want to be as usable as possible and you're taking what they may already have but just taking it to the next level so the next thing is a scarf and I've chosen three different scarves and um, the first one is this one that has like this checked print I love the colors in it like the blues and like the browns it would basically suit most outfits that a guy would wear like color wise and um, it's a hundred percent let me just double check this is a hundred percent wool um so yeah material wise you're good to go it just it looks so stunning the browns are oh, it looks so nice and then I've also chosen a cashmere scarf scarf as well so if you want something a little bit more soft because wool it depends what kind of wool but cashmere tends to be a little bit softer so um you've got this cashmere scarf as well i think this one's from cos and then i've also chosen something that has a bit more of a label um so acne studios has a, a has their scarf line as well which are beautiful but if you want like i mean i know mohammed prefers like no labels and no names and stuff so i'd much rather go for the cos one or the arquette one that's plain than the name label um but if you did want something that was a little bit more pricey then that could be an option and the last cozy thing is a cashmere jumper and i've chosen this one from MS because the MS cashmere is a good value um for cashmere on the high street but also uh, good quality as well so it's a cashmere jumper it is a crew neck jumper and um, so it's just so versatile they have it in a ton of colors so you can choose one or two colors if you want um and it's just so versatile like he can literally wear it on any day to work if he was to wear a shirt underneath it casually with like some chinos and some trainers it just looks so stunning and it will last him years and years and years and years and years and he most likely has a jumper but maybe not a cashmere one so you're elevating his style um the other place i absolutely love um is united colors of benetton they have beautiful colored jumpers i find that they have like these little speckles in their jumpers which is just gorgeous um they double check their quality. I feel like their quality has gone down recently, but check the materials. If it's not 100% something, then don't get it. 
Okay, let's move away from coziness, let's move away from clothes, and I'm gonna show you some sunglasses. Um, so sunglasses or glasses, depends on what your guy likes to wear um, or needs to wear, um, are, is a great option. So these are Ray-Ban Aviators. Um, this is actually, I've got a similar version, but my one is, I think, plastic. This one's like metal, so it's a lot nicer for uh, a guy, I think, because it's a, lo a lot more like sturdy and it looks more, it looks nice. I mean, a girl can wear it too, obviously. Everything's unisex with Ray-Bans, but um, I've linked um, one down below that I think is quite nice for a man. It's, like a, it's got like a brown lens and it's nice for like this kind of autumn winter vibe. Um, and it comes with a lovely case like this, so you can take it, travel. It's quite a thin case as well. Um, and you can just wear it in so many different, like in the summer, in the winter, on holiday. It's just one of those things that you just need, like some sunglasses. And if he doesn't have one, then it's a nice, cute, nice gift. Okay, let's go into a little bit of tech. Now, this couldn't be a gift guide for him without some tech. So I thought I'd suggest headphones. And I uh, was thinking about some over overhead headphones, like over the ears, is that what they call it? Over the head <laughs> headphones, um, rather than ear pods. Um, and I love headphones. I actually don't have one. We, neither of us have one. But I, we were talking about it the other day and I was like, I wouldn't mind like some overhead headphones. I dropped a hint. Um, and I think they're lovely because like when you're working and you don't want something in your ear like irritating you, you can just have like some headphones over your head. You're at home, it's safe. Like or you're in the office, it's safe. It's not gonna, there's no chance of like falling off or getting stolen. And it's over the head and you can just like slip it on and slip it off. You can have like a noise cancellation one. Um, there are so many different types. I've chosen this one by Bang and Olufsen. Is that how you pronounce it? Olufsen? Olufsen, Olufsen, um, and I think they're gorgeous. I think they're so stunning. The way they look, the color, the brown on the white. Also there, they are known for like their speakers and their sound stuff. Um, so you know that it's gonna be amazing quality and it will last forever and ever. And then to, accom to accompany that, as if you haven't spent enough, um, there's also a like headphone stand. So um, over, yeah, headphone stand. So it's like a little stand thing. I'll put it here. It's like a little stand thing. And then you can like hang the headphones off of it while you're, you know, if you're in the office and you're just taking a little bit of a break and you wanna like slip it off but not put it in its case, you can just have it stand. And I feel like it's a bit of a decor as well. So you can add a little jazz. You know, you've got this on the desk and then you've got your headphones on the desk and then you've got your perfumes and your what, just, just elevate them, just elevate them. <laughs> okay, two more things. Um, I, I put a diffuser, like an oil diffuser into this list because um, again, I'm just going by what Mohammed likes to be completely honest, but it, you know, for a girl, you might get some candles and some fragrances and like some re-diffusers, whatever. But for a guy, um, you might want to get something that's a little bit more, um, like adds a bit of ambiance in the room as well as decor. And I feel like uh, oil diffusers are gorgeous. Uh, they they look nice in the room. They are, they can be used as a light if you want. They have like, you know, the, the oil, thing coming out of it, um, the little smoke thingy coming out of it. It smells beautiful. They're, loft, they're a lot softer in terms of smells. You can choose different smells from Muji, like you can choose like calming, relaxing, energizing, things like that. You can choose different smells and you can gift that all together. And I think it's such a lovely gift for a guy who's like into self-care a little bit, but wants like a, a manlier version of it. <laughs> and then last but not least, a bit of skincare. So I've, or skincare, that kind of care thing <laughs> um, products. So I've chosen um, ASOP, two ASOP products that I think that a guy would love. So one of them is a hand balm. I don't have it, but I have tried it in store. It's a hand, to be honest, all ASOP products are lovely. I recently got Mohammed for no reason, just because I'm a good wife. I got him a like face wash and a cream, face mo facial moisturizer from um, ASOP, just because I was walking past and yeah, he loved it. It just smells so good. Like it just feels like you're in a spa washing your face, moisturizing your face in the morning and you're just at home. So why not? Um, so yeah, I've decided on adding the hand balm in this list. I, feel, I find that guys of all the things that they like, they like hand creams because um, they usually like washing their hands, getting like dirty, whatever. Um, having like a nice hand cream that can like moisturize their hands, especially in this weather, is a nice option. And you know if it's ASOP, it's gonna smell nice. So that's that's one option. And then the second one that I've added is the typical, the hand wash. And the reason why I've added this, and this can really go on anyone's list to be honest, the reason why I've added this is because every time that someone comes over, like we have guests that come over and they use this, they're like, what is that hand wash? Like if they don't know already, let me just, oh. They're like, what is that hand wash? And and regardless, a guy, a, a, like literally anyone. So I'm, I'm like, actually, you know what? Even though it's a lovely gift for like a girl, for the home, it's actually a nice gift for a guy as well, because it just means that 
he has something that he can like wash his hands with and smell and it's just such a lovely scent and this one the the reverence one has like little um what has he got grind rind bergamot rind is that bergamot rind it has like a scrub no finely min milled pumice i can't spell any i can't pronounce any of these bit words pumice pumice <laughs> to gently scrub the hands um anyway so it's got like a bit of a scrub so you're you, you know, you, you want to wash your hands and you get like a hand scrub at the same time and then you can like balm your hands and like get a soft hand. It's, come on. Um, so yeah, that's my little list. It's not that long. <laughs> um, but these are just like a few basic things, like nothing in there, nothing in here is spectacular. Nothing in here is like anything that's going to change their life. But it will take them from having like this little crappy little scarf that does nothing for their warmth to having a nice cashmere scarf that's gonna keep them warm all day, all night. So yeah, and they'll love you for it when they like go out and they're like, oh, I'm so warm. And they're like, oh, Mina got that for me. So, you know, that's what you want. You want them to, you want them to remember you all day long. So make sure that you get them things that they can use all day long. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Any other ones, let me know if you have any other ideas for gifts. Um, Tis the season to be merry. So I thought I'd do a little gift guide <laughs> and um, share with you some ideas because I'm definitely the best gift, gift giver you can find. Um, if you enjoyed this, let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!